the extract theme function in XMind lets you do pretty much what it says. It lets you take the theme out of the current workbook and you can save it for later. It pretty much lets you save a custom theme. I'll make sure you're aware of this too. That this is only available with XMind Plus and above. So XMind Plus, XMind Pro, and the subscriptions. This is part of the Creative Toolbox. Now, what what happens here is the theme must be different. So if you're going to try start playing around with this, make sure the theme is different before you start trying to extract things. Let me give you an example of how you can modify the theme. We're going to go into View. We're going to go into Styles. And I'm going, to just, I'm going to click on the Creative Toolbox. I'm going to change the style. You can see how it's the white box with the black circle around it. I'll just pick the first one at the top here. That'll be fine. I'm going to double click on that. And now you can see I've changed that particular theme. I could go through and I could also add different things. I could put a test one here and I could color that blue. The whole point is that I'm, some, I'm modifying the theme. So now this is my own personal theme. I'll back out of that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and I'm going to show you two ways to extract the theme. The first way is to go to the tools box and go down to where it says extract theme. It'll say, do you want to extract, extract and apply or just extract? So we're going to click extract only and boom, all of a sudden there is our new theme. So we've already added the new theme. I'm going to go back out of this and I'll show you the other way we can do it. So the second way we'll do this is go right into the themes view. So we can st we can start with the themes view. So we're going to go to view, go down to themes. This will again call up that themes box below. And we can see all the different themes we have currently set up. And now all we're going to do is we're going to click on something. It has to be, it'll, it'll extract something from below what we've chosen. So we could chose, we could chose a blue theme or this green theme and whatever's below it or the blue theme. I'm going to choose this green theme. And I go over here, and it's a little hard to read this thing, but it says extract the theme from the current editor selection. So we're going to go in here, and we're going to we're going to click on this, and we're going to extract this theme. It's going to say give us the same drop-down box, extract only, and there we go. What it means by extract and apply is I can obviously make the whole mind map green as the as a carbon copy of this for all the other formats if I chose to. So that's what it's saying, extract and apply or extract only. So I left it as extract only just so we can make sure we have some contrast. So if we've decided that we love this theme a lot and we want to make every new mind map we create the exact same as this new green design, we can choose to do that. You can see here currently I have the default set. There's a little star that's by it that's telling us that that's the default setting. I can go over to theme three. This is just the new theme that we created. And you can see there's a star button next to it. Set the default theme. There you go. Easy as that. We'll click on that. And now the star is moved over here. And we're done. Every new mind map that you create will now become will now use that. And I want to clarify something on this too. Is that if I open a new page in the existing mind map because I didn't apply it to anything, it's not going to change. So there you go. Extracting themes. This is probably one of the biggest reasons why. I would suggest you look at into XMind Plus. If you're into making your own stuff and taking that design and moving it across to different maps, this would be one of the best tools you can use. So check it out, Extract Theme, part of the Creative Toolbox in XMind Plus and above. If you found this video useful, get the Cheat Sheet. It's an XMind workbook filled with tutorials, videos, and links, and all sorts of cool stuff. Imagine that, using XMind to help you use XMind. You can get it by following the link below. All I ask in exchange is that you give my newsletter a chance. Thanks for watching.